Leo, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to do your weekly reading. This is going to be uh, May 18th through the 24th. Please remember uh, timing is fluid and flexible and it is a general reading. If you'd like a personal reading, my information's in the description box. Uh, this will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. There's some other informational things in the description box as well. Um, but the last thing that I'm going to uh, share with you is that I am doing a giveaway at the end of the month. If you're new to my channel, I am giving away two uh, personal readings. Uh, to enter, you just have to uh, subscribe, like, and comment. And obviously, if you're already a subscriber, you just have to like and comment. Okay, so good luck to you and we'll start your reading. I'm going to pull a couple of uh, these psychic oracle cards, a romance angel, um, and then a, uh, a archangel Michael card and we'll get to the tarot as well. So thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Leo is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give Leo the accurate messages and details they need to know for May 18th through the 24th. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. Amen. And let's get two cards for Leo. Okay, we have one card here. All right, we got heartache and loss. We have the solar plexus chakra. We got two threes going on here. All right. And then let's uh, pull one Romance Angel card. Okay, so let's get one card for Leo. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. I want to let you know also it's a general reading, and for the weeklies, anything goes. It can be about love, career, finances, family situations, friends, coworkers. So take the re the messages how they resonate with you and okay and then we have here the honeymoon card okay all right so let's get started here so the first card that you have is heartache and loss and then you had solar plexus solar plexus chakra here okay so i feel with these two cards um I'm trying to hold these I feel here what I'm getting here is that I feel like you're holding on to some type of heartache or guilt um, in a situation here, okay? I feel like you're really holding it, um, and I feel like it's in your, your solar plexus chakra here. So I feel like there's some healing that needs to be done, or you need to do some chakra clearing or cleansing. I want to say there's a lot of great videos on, on YouTube to do some clearing and cleansing. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's something here that you're still um, getting over or there's some loss um, that you're getting over. It can even be that you're feeling guilty about something here. Okay, so I feel like there's some work needing to be done on your solar plexus here. All right, now remember energies can always be reversed. This could be somebody else you're dealing with as well. All right. The next card that you have here is honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, okay? So this tells me through this clearing, um, this healing that I feel like um, you're gonna work on, it, it tells me you're gonna be in a better place here. You're gonna move to a place that's gonna be calmer. And, and what I mean is like, it's like coming from rocky water to calm water, okay? This could also be you also moving um, at a distance here, okay? I'm also getting there may be somebody around you if you are moving that this person may be, um, you know, having some sadness or loss about you moving as well, okay? Um, but I do feel here that, that, the, that through this healing um, and this heartache and loss that you're going to come to a more calmer place than where you've been in the past. All right. And like I said, I feel like there may be some home move. Um, there may be some home move or there's some travel going on here. Okay. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to pull one Archangel Michael card. And we're going to read this uh, message at the end. So if you'd like to hear it. 
stay tuned uh, for this message. So thank you, Archangel Michael. What message do you have for Leo? May 18th through the 24th. Okay, I don't know why I flipped that over, but I'm going to put that there. And there we go. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Leo week May 18th through the 24th? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands. the tower card and we have the magician bottom of the deck we have bottom of the deck we have the king of cups okay i'm getting here um there may be somebody in your life who's a cancer a scorpio or a pisces i feel here you may be getting some type of um some type of offer from this person Okay, or there may be something that happens unexpected, unexpectedly, because we have here the the nine of wands, um, and the tower card. I feel here, Leo. I feel like you've been waiting for something. This is your energy here, waiting for something patiently. You may have planted the seed with something, um, you know, hoping that it would grow. It could have to do with this this sadness here. Um, but I feel like there's something you've been waiting for or something you've been working hard on and you've been waiting for it to pay off here. I feel here with the tower card that there's something unexpected that's going to happen. So I feel here you may receive some communication from this person. Okay. Um, or this could also be just the emotion of it, of how you're going to feel, um, you know, when this, when this situation happens. And then the third card that you have is the magician. All right. So this tells me here that this is something that you're manifesting here. Okay. Something that you're manifesting. And I'm not quite too sure yet. We're going to pull some more cards. You know, I don't know if this unexpected thing is something good or this is something um, that may cause you some heartache and some loss. I, let's keep going here. We're going to stay positive and say that it's going to be something good, okay? Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Uh, what messages do we have for Leo week uh, May 18th through the 24th? What messages do we have for Leo? Okay, we have the World card. We have the Eight of Cups. And we have the Five of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, uh, we have the Six of Pentacles, okay? So, Leo, hmm. There may be something that's out of, I'm feeling something may be out of balance this week, or you may be closing out something here. Um, I'm getting to, could be a situation with finances. I'm getting a lot of like mixed messages here. So let's start out here. We have the World card. We have the Eight of Cups, okay? So I'm getting two messages here. Uh, you may be closing out a cycle with someone or something here, okay? Walking away from it because it's not um, serving you, okay? Or I get here if something happens unexpectedly that um, kind of makes the decision for you and you decide to uh, walk away from it, whatever it is, because it didn't uh, serve you emotionally. For others, I feel like this could be something unexpected where you're making a home move. I already talked about a home move. Um, doing some traveling to somewhere where um, you decided you're going to make a move and it may have been like an all of a sudden decision here that you weren't really expecting to do okay so there may be a reason why you may have to move is what i'm getting and we have here the five of pentacles now some of you this could be there could be a home move because um of finances here is what i'm getting all right and there may be somebody helping you out um is what i'm getting here as well Okay, if um, there is lack in finances, I feel like you may be receiving some some money from someone to help you out. If not, I feel like 
uh, this change or this move or closing out this cycle is going to bring you some more balance here, okay? This could be, if this has to do with the relationship, you could be walking away uh, from this person because you're just not getting what you need emotionally from this person is what I'm getting. Okay, that could be why too we have heartache and loss. All right, let's get three more cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Leo uh, May 18th through the 24th? messages do you have for Leo May 18th through the 24th we have yeah six of swords there's something with distance here or moving or just uh, moving into a calmer place we have the death card and two of cups okay and then we have here the queen of pentacles all right so I feel here overall Leo, that um, you're still coming out good here as the Nine of Pentacles. Feel like you're cu you're coming out pretty stable, grounded, solid here. Um, I do feel like you're going to be okay financially, um, being able to take care of yourself. Okay, attractive here. So I'm still getting um, you know good messages. So whatever this change is, whether you're moving or you're walking away from something. Um, I feel like it's good for you. Okay, the next three cards you have is the Six of Swords, the Death card, and the Two of Cups. You know, for some of you, I feel like you could be moving um, with your true love, okay? Or um, you're moving to a place at a distance and you meet your true love, okay? Which brings a new beginning here could be a Scorpio, um, Cancer, or Pisces. We also got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. That's going to be for some of you, okay? Because I feel like you walked away from something that wasn't serving you. So I feel like for some of you, there's new love coming in. For others, I feel here, um, I feel here for some of you, you may be traveling somewhere at a distance or moving at a place somewhere of a distance. Uh, that's going to bring a new beginning for you. And I feel like this is something that's unexpected. Um, whatever this situation, I feel here you weren't expecting it. Let me just hone in on the energy some more. Yeah, I do feel like though, you know, if you're doing a home move, I do feel like something that's kind of you, you worked through may have been some challenges. All right. I feel here a lot of you wanted a new beginning. For some in love, I just feel here that somebody may have made you feel left out on the cold and you decided to walk away from this person. And some of you decided to become single. And look at that. Yeah, some of you decided to be single. Look what you have here. New start. That's what I talked about. Some of you decided that you wanted a new start. Thinking about your future here. Some of you, like I said, are considering a home move is what I'm getting here. Okay. Some of you, I feel here too, may still be attached to this person that you walked away from. Or they walked away from you. And then look here, we have the star card. Okay. I feel like you're still hopeful about things. This is also about healing. Um, I also feel like two things are lining up for you. Okay, you're closing out old cycles. You're manifesting here with the magician. You got here the three of pentacles. Okay. For some of you, this could be have to do with a job. Um, you know, at a place at a distance here, working with other people. And then look here, you have the page of pentacles. So... I do feel here there's some good news coming in for you in about a month here, okay? Or some of you may be, I, I'm getting maybe moving in a month, okay? Or something like that. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. All right. We're going to pull... Um, 
This Two of Cups is catching my eye. I feel like some of you are going to meet this person in a month, this new person with the Two of Cups here. You may meet them through work or through your travels or through moving or, you know, wherever you're, you're going. Some of you could just be visiting family as well as what I'm getting. Definitely some travel here. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Leo? Let's get two more cards, please. You know what I'm getting to as um, I'm, I'm shuffling here and Spirit's telling me? I feel here, um, if you're dealing with a love situation and there was somebody that you walked away from or, or they walked away from you, and if you're that person who I feel here is moving, I feel like this person's going to come in just about when you're going to move here and, um, and make you an offer. That's what I'm getting. They're going to come. Look at here. You got the the uh, Knight of Swords here. They're going to come in rushing in with some communication. And then look here. You have the, the Two of Swords. You're going to feel conflicted. So I feel like this person's going to rush in at the last minute. If you're one of those people who are moving, um, I feel like this person's going to come rushing in. And uh, they're going to make you a little uh, conflicted here. All right, so from the Angel Answer deck, uh, Angel Guidance here, we have Meditation Brings Answers. Okay, so regarding this situation, I feel how your angels are saying you may need to get some clarity. Um, it, this can also be about your healing, trying to heal um, through this past heartache and lost loss. Um, it's up to you here. Okay, so this is about your free will, doing what makes you feel good, what gives you peace and, and happiness in your heart here. So your angels want you to do what makes you feel good. So, you know, if you feel good walking away, starting over, leaving the past behind, then they're telling you you're making the right decision, if, you know, but it's really what feels good in your heart. And then the next card that you have is perfect timing. So your angels are saying here, everything's going to happen in perfect timing. Um, don't worry here. Okay. Just be patient. All right. All right. The next card you have from um, Archangel Michael. Wow, I turned right to the page here. Okay, so the card that you have here is called Positive Thoughts Create Positive Results. The situation calls for uplifting thoughts, which are the magic ingredients you've been looking for. Although you may protest that you already have a positive mindset, Archangel Michael advises you to purge your thoughts and speech of any worries or other negativity that could diminish your manifestations. Michael says that you can tell how constructive your thoughts are by paying attention to recent events in your life, as there is a direct correlation between positive thoughts and positive results. He'll help buoy your spirits to a truly beneficial level so that your experiences are happy and welcome. So possible specific meanings, remember all of these may not apply to you, so take the ones that do. Adopt a daily or hourly practice of saying positive affirmations. Read a book or take a class on positive affirmations. Avoid blaming yourself or others. Instead, focus on solutions. Rather than worrying about something, pray and practice a loving, compassionate state of mind. And the prayer, if you want to say it with me, is divine love and wisdom. I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of love and light that is within every person and situation. All right. So beautiful message there from Archangel Michael. I um, feel like this reading was very on point for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you want to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. 
I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.